Naked is another Netflix original movie. It stars Marlon Wayans, Regina Hall and Dennis Haysbert. It is almost a kind of takeoff of Groundhog Day. It's very familiar and it uses that kind of trope. Although that time where it's a full day the guy's reliving, this is a period of an hour I think I can gather from the movie. The main character, Rob, is about to get married. He's a kind of lazy guy but he's obviously kind of intelligent or the movie makes him out to be that way and when he gets there to his wedding reception you meet his father-in-law played by Dennis Haysbert who obviously doesn't really like him that much kind of degrades him a little bit and he goes out for a few drinks he wakes up naked in an elevator his wedding is about to begin he tries to get there as quickly as he can but at a certain time he is so he's shot back in time to that moment where he lands in the elevator naked again just as the door opens and it repeats this scenario over and 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 so forth. I saw the trailer for Naked and it just didn't really give me any kind of oomph but I stuck on to watch it and tried to give it my best. And to my surprise, for the first 20 minutes, I found myself rather enjoying it. I liked the characters, I liked the way the movie was going, even though it was kind of cliched and you could see it, where it was going to end up. I liked what it was setting up and I had some good moments. It's when the sort of Groundhog Day aspect begins in the movie that really it started to show its cracks for what it actually was. It's just not funny. It's lots of scenes of Marlon Wayne screaming, doing silly antics. There are some smart plays in amongst us, but because there's so much stupidity going on round about it, it doesn't really shine. This movie is a deceiver in my book. When I finished I was like, yeah, that's, that was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad, it was okay. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, that, that was pretty poor. That didn't make sense. This didn't make sense. Why was that all kind of happening? And I think it's because of the constant aspect. Because it's an hour, it is rapid fire. He relives this hour multiple times, more than Bill Murray did in Groundhog Day. We are talking hundreds of times. And we literally see a lot of him waking up in this elevator, how he deals with it. Some of it was funny to start with, but it grates on. It's not as clever as it thinks it is, and it starts to become more tedious than anything. There's some good aspects, like I said, there's a fight with a character that he has that he has obviously went through several times as he is saying what the man is about to do before he does it. You know, like left jab, uppercut, as he dodges out the way. And when he finally gets hot with something, he's like, oh, that's new. And it has these nice touches, but it squeezes it in, into a rather cliched story of this guy that, that the father-in-law wants his daughter to marry, who happens to be trying to steal his father-in-law's company. We have Rob Marlon Wayans who learns a lesson through this that it's, you always have to work hard for the things that you want so he decides to take on that full-time job that he was a bit reluctant to do beforehand and it just feels kind of empty. It doesn't give you that satisfaction when you're watching it. Even then it starts to grate on you and you realise that it's not got a full something there to really fill you up. And as soon as the movie ends, it's gone from your head almost instantaneously. It's a forgettable movie that was really rather lacklustre. And it's repetitive nature, which could have been elements for some fun, really falls flat. I wish this was better than it was. I kind of hope for the best in most movies that I watch, but even I am struggling to try and pull a silver lining from this one. Ultimately, I'm going to have to give Naked one and a half out of five. It is promising to start, but the storyline becomes very cliched and trite. The comedy didn't really work for me, and what good points it does have are far outweighed by the bad points. Did you watch Naked? Did you like it or did you hate it? Let me know in the comment box below, and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.